Hello guys. Um, have you ever imagined um if the heart is all muscle, but then they are asking you to discuss the skeleton of the heart, all right? And they said discuss the skeleton of the heart. So this is um just for you to know that um skeleton doesn't really mean it should be bones, okay? So um we said that the skeleton of the heart um uh, is a connective framework of dense collagen forming fibrous rings. Okay, and um, they surround the valves, all right, and guarding the atrioventricular and the arterial, arterial what, orifices, okay. And this is a connective framework of dense collagen, fibrous rings, surrounding the valves, and guarding the atrioventricular and the atrial orifice, okay. It provides at attachment for the cardiac muscles, okay. So um, this skeleton of the heart right can you see it is protecting the aortic valves and the atrioventricular valves and it's pro providing what attachment for the skeletal muscles right it provides attachment for the skeletal muscles atrioventricular fibrous rings are formed are in the form of what figure eight and the figure eight has on its sides nearly in the sagittal pain Plane, okay now um no muscular continuity exists between the atria and the ventricles okay across the skeleton the bundle of his is the only physiological connection between the atria and the ventricles across the skeletal um the skeleton of the heart okay so um this is the image basically and um this is just like the skeleton of the heart, okay? I think they cut it. They cut it. Because I think what we have here is only the ventricles. So the atria should be up, right? So the skeleton of the heart is like what is between the atria and the ventricles, providing attachment for the muscles, okay? So see you guys in the next tutorial. And bye for now.